Hey friends, Greg here at the Pennywise Guys. Today I'm going to show you a solar structure we built. Dual purpose structure. Other than the uh, solar, it's going to uh, be a cover for this RV that you see here. And so let me show you how it's built. Check out other videos. We have other designs. You can check those out. Let me show you this one. Let's get started. Alright, let me show you the view from further away so you can see against the house. It looks pretty clean. We, uh, there we go. Had the sun shining in the camera. This is the uh, cantilevered design that we did for this customer. It's not real wide. It's uh, only about seven and a half feet wide. Uh, about 30, 32 feet long. And so the RV normally they have it a little closer to the house and it would cover typically about half the RV but we stretched a solar mesh on poles once we were all done to give them 95% UV blockage on the rest of the RV. So they're very happy with that. This is only nine panels on this, uh, the smallest uh, solar structure we've ever made. Uh, the rest of the system is on the house. We have two arrays, one in the back with about 20 panels and then one on the uh, southwest side here uh, has about 12 panels and then we have nine panels across this structure. This one here, we'll show you the details, but it's a uh, different than the other design. It'll, if you look at the other video of a solar structure for RV, uh, cantilevered, uh, we have a bolt-on process. I'll show you that one later on another video. This one is a uh, smooth, seamless, welded joint. It's called a grooved uh, butt joint, a grooved 100% penetration weld. And uh, that's an uh, expensive process, but it's, it, it, we had to have it welded, inspected, and everything. But we have three posts, and uh, they're four, four by sixes, uh, six foot in the ground, and uh, cantilevered seven feet. These are 420 watt Axitec panels. These panels technology has really improved greatly. Uh, I have the same uh, Axitec panels on my system which were 400 watt panels. These are 420 watt. They're currently 450 watt and they're going to be coming out with a 500 watt panel this uh, fall of 2022. So the technology is greatly improved. Same size frame has gone up in the last three years by the time they come out to 100 watts more per panel. I do recommend silicon power over end phase or any other microinverter. They are the best. Let me show you the welding on this. There is no, no visible weld. It's called a groove 100% penetration weld. You put a backing plate behind the weld. You do 100% penetration. You really get a good good uh, burnt, uh, weld in there, you grind it down flat and it looks real nice and so very clean looking all the way down the line here and we have the, uh, the, the end plate welded on so it's both, both, both the purlin to the end plate. This just has two C purlins on, on both sides, there's no Z purlins in the metal, bolted on to that end plates and I don't know if you can see there, right there is another in, or plate bolt, uh, welded onto the post and then bolted in. See the bolts, the half inch bolts going through. All right, these are the C purlins on both sides. Okay, there's no C purlins. Therefore, we don't have to have any gutter system to direct the water. The water flows down the C purlins and it's sloped two inches to the west and then it drips off down here. Okay. All right, so that's, and the panels are sealed. They're butted against each other with a, sh it's called a, well, this is a one that we've got it mounted on the ends only. Okay, so normally if you have a Z purlin, it's called a shared rail system. I'll show you that on other videos. Being it on C, C purlins, we butt them together and we just put in clamps on the both sides, the, the, both ends, we put in clamps on both sides and then silicone the, um, the panels together to keep them from leaking. And so use silicone and, and put a bead of silicone down the seam where they butt together. 
and that keeps it from leaking so you don't have a if you had a patio it uses for a patio or, or a gazebo you don't want that water dripping on you okay so uh, that kind of seals these things to where it, it makes it uh, more leak proof the electrical on this we have two arrays on the roof on the back of the house and on the on this side here I'm not going to show you the arrays but you see the uh, junction box way up there okay and then the, the uh, EMT right up there comes straight down here so uh, and tied together and then it comes down over here and down to the panel okay so the other um, two arrays have a solo deck which takes the the electrical line and puts it in the attic we run Rolex down the attic and that's so that that J box up there are the two um, Rolex coming together and then we just use straight number 10 wire down to here down to here and into the box okay so there's a sticker that shows here's the structure here okay and then there's a back array and the other other array so those two arrays tie together and it comes down and ties in this J box right up there where the solar comes off the structure with some liquid tight so it's flexible into that J box and then down to the panel okay and uh, this is a solar breaker um, set up on this so we have a pretty full panel got some spots up there 200 amp panel a couple more spaces down there but this is our solar breaker here and that's our AC disconnect so on line side tap we have um, a disconnect mounted here along the panel and so then the wires coming off of the um, the solar system go into the disconnect and from there into the line side tap but this is the AC breaker on this one so that's our AC disconnect and that's what it says there and label it for the fire department to know where to shut the system off all right um, other than that the system works out really well for this customer we wish we would have had more room to put another row of panels we put them on the roof the problem was let me show you the fence line here it, it's enough room on the front here but the back you can't see it but it's angled in towards the house by several feet and by code we have to be three feet away from the property line so we could not put an extra row of panels on it would work here on this side but not down on the other side okay so that's why we had to use the solar solar mesh to give them more shade for the RV okay there is another structure that's like this and I did two other um, RV structures you can see as well but there's one other that's a cantilevered structure so check that video out and that one has a full coverage for the RV in itself okay so I hope this helps and inspire you to possibly do something like this or have a contractor help you do something like this and dual purpose solar and solar shade cover for your RV all right have a blessed day I sure hope you enjoyed this video and it was a help to you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also hit that notification bell to be notified of weekly videos. I pray that you are blessed and that you know him who is the author of life.